All right, so this was our second powerlifting meet, and the best way to describe this one was weird because the way it came about was kind of rushed for basically everyone, and the entire reason for that was because of Dobbs and Bradley, mainly Dobbs, I think. Um, they're going to school for uh, to become a paramedic, and they were in kind of like a, I think, in-between sessions or like something there was like some kind of a break um for their schooling and so with work and school they basically have no time and he was like hey we need to try and do it like nowish <laughs> and so we had like what was it like three weeks or a month something like that carp right oh uh, we yeah it was like a month at best and we were just like okay and so he was like, yep, this is a date that me and Bradley are both off. And then after that, basically our lives are non-existent because of both work and school. And mm -hmm. so we're like, okay, I guess we're doing it now then. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we were like, hey, everybody, uh, you know, we haven't done deadlifts in however many months. <laughs> we have three weeks to get ready for that, so have fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like, it was basically a month or so of notice that we were doing it like obviously we knew we were gonna do it soonish i think we all kind of knew it was gonna happen in august so it was like we were preparing in some sense but we weren't we weren't like peaking we're, we weren't yeah, ready <laughs> we weren't quite sure so so it was like a month of or so of actual like prep time yeah like for me i, I was like I was getting ready for it in, in some sense, but just like you guys, I hadn't even touched a, the deadlift until like a month out and same for bench for me. Like didn't do any deadlift or bench until like a month. Uh, my squat was very prepared, but that's another thing. Like our, up our until, squat wasn't ready either. Uh -huh. Up until that month notice, like I was still deep in training weightlifting. I wish there was more time and we could have like actually prepared, but, yeah, but because everyone know. was on a, on a level playing field of not being ready, it made it. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. So it was good. It's so, like, of course you would, you would prefer to have more time, but with the circumstances you mentioned, that's just how it played out. There was like, you know, we'll talk about injuries and stuff too, leading in, into this thing and how everybody was doing in terms of, you know, every part of their body being broken, but, um, <laughs> um, essentially, um, the way this works kind of go over the rules again is that it's team based and it's all based on Wilk score. So last time, um, it came about as like a competition between me and Dobbs really. Um, he's my brother-in-law and, he works in EMT. I work in IT, and we came up with the idea like, "Hey, let's do like a a team based powerlifting meet where we have three people from your job and three people from my job, and we compete against each other. We take the Wilk score of each, add them up, and then whichever team has the higher Wilk score at the end wins." So we were like, "Yeah, like, you know, like let's do that again." But this time, as you can see, if you watch the last one. Uh, there's different people here. Uh, Dobbs had different teammates because his last time he had a guy named Austin who wasn't able to make it this time. And then another guy named Coda who is now in prison and we'll never see him again. So, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. It's a little bit different. On account of that. Um, so what we did last time was we had Everett Carp here, who I'm talking to, um, be like a, a guest who kind of just did his own team just for fun. Uh, yeah, essentially just joined just just for the heck of it, but didn't uh, actually weigh into the the teams at all. And so this time we were like, "Hey, uh, we'll need you to actually be on the team this time because we don't have enough people." And he's like, "Oh, okay." So <laughs> we subbed him in for one of the people, and then the other guy is Bradley, who also works with Dobbs, and he is um, the boss of the EMTs. Uh, whatever, like for Sulphur and Davis's son. Um, I think the boss's name is Brad, and then he's Brad Lee. Uh, and both of them actually go to like real powerlifting meets. Uh, like Brad is like a senior, whatever, what do they call it? Um, a master's. Matt, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Because uh, he's over like 55 or whatever, I think. Mm -hmm. And then Bradley, I don't, you know, he's, he goes to actual 
meets. So he, he knows what's up and he was like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm all, I'm down for that. So we got him. And, um, because of the switch in personnel, um, last time, the only true like competitor per se was Dobbs on their team. Cause he was the only one like really taking it seriously. The other guys kind of just joined for fun. Cause they were just like, yeah, cool. Whatever. We're friends and we'll do it. <laughs> but mm-hmm. because Bradley being an actual power lifter, and then, you know, ever being like good at what he does with weightlifting and being yeah, competitive, like, it, it was very more of an actual like competition this time, I would say. Yeah, it's like, it's still not, um, it, it was definitely more of, I mean, for me, it's like, I'm not a power lifter, obviously, but, but I take lifting seriously, you know, so. This time we also had my sister and Dobbs' sister come down to help us because last time, um, we had to, you know, rack and unrack all the weights loading. and man, like that tired us out big time. That, that was like a huge factor last time. So having them there to help us with that, I mean, they're basically getting a workout in of itself, just doing that yeah. the entire day for us in the heat as well. <laughs> so it's like, you know, they were, <laughs> they were there to work yeah, out. Just, just loading. It's like, uh, you know, it's nothing heavy, but it's moving a lot of weights for a long time. So, yeah, having them was huge, and, you know, I, I definitely compensated them for that. Bought their bought their dinner afterwards, gave them a $25 Starbucks gift card. I was like, yeah, I know how much. Like, you guys didn't need yeah. to do this, but we appreciate the hell out of it. So, here, take this. <laughs> they probably didn't realize how tough that would be. Yeah, they were like, oh, yeah, that'll be fun. And then they were like, oh, my God, yeah. why did I do this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, you can see in the back there, Jeremy brought like a cooler this time. Like we kind of had some things like oh, yeah. more prepared. Like we <laughs> we had like snacks, yeah. we had drinks, we had like I, I at one point we went and got like cold towels, like wet towels, and like you know just to yeah. like cool ourselves down because it was way way hotter than last time. This is in August uh-huh. in Oklahoma, so it was over a hundred that day. Yeah, last time was November, so it yeah. wasn't that concern. And it was just like miserable, but. We made it work, and like by the end of it, we were just we were whipped. I can tell you that. Oh yeah, I bet. Luckily though, because we had you being on the team, that helped us in terms of there only being yeah. five people instead of six yeah. to have to load for. So that went by yeah. a little bit quicker, at least. So it's kind of good in a way. Like in a sense, it's it was kind of kind of strange having to do it remotely when I'm actually part of the team, but there were some good sides to that as well. I would say. I was asking everybody, like, okay, what what tweaks and yeah, stuff do you have? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's actually talk about yours. You had the calf injury. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting topic. Uh, other than that, there wasn't really anything wrong at the moment. But uh, so this was happening on a Saturday, and I went to do my final session before the meet on the Thursday prior to that and uh, my plan for that session was of course being two days out nothing heavy at all Um, I was just going to go extremely light on everything uh, with the exception of the squat where I wanted to squat up to what would be my last warm up before my opener um, and I knew that I wouldn't have any problem being fatigued from that because I normally squat two days apart anyway. So that's uh, that's not too bad compared to what I normally do even. Um, but what happened <laughs> during that squat session is I got done doing what I planned to do, all my warm-ups. Uh, and then uh, when I went to unload the bar and get set up for bench... Uh, I guess I just had too much on on my mind, and I completely, as I'm unloading plates from one side of the bar, I'd completely forgotten that I hadn't taken any plates off the other side of the bar yet. (laughs) So I take too many plates off of the one side, and you know what happens then. Oh yeah. Uh, So I'm I'm using a, a bit of a different setup than the squat stand they have here. I just have two freestanding uh, squat stands 
that are separate from each other. So when the bar falls off of the one side, that causes a bit of a domino effect where both of the stands got knocked down. And I couldn't get out of the way in time, and one of the stands actually hit me on, uh, on my calf. But I was pretty lucky because it hit just the muscle of my calf. Um, could have hit something much worse, for sure. But um, that left uh, a nice little uh, flesh wound there and the muscle of the calf was extremely sore later that day and uh like when it happened i was like okay that probably won't affect anything but then later that day i was extremely sore from it and uh it was a little a little sketchy i was like i i don't know if i'll actually be able to squat on that yeah, we're kind of um, worried that you weren't going to be able to even do the competition. Like, you yeah. might be, could have been able to do bench, but, like, nothing else, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That was my worry. But, uh, fortunately enough, um, it certainly wasn't, like, better by the day of, but it was, uh, it was better enough that it d actually didn't affect any of the movements I had to do that day, and uh, I didn't lose any performance on account of it. it you know, it just wasn't that serious, fortunately. Um, yep since it hit the muscle and nothing nothing more serious um but yeah thankfully that didn't stop anything it really uh the only thing it really affected was i just couldn't squat quite as deep as i usually do and um that didn't really matter because how deep i usually squat is very deep compared to the powerlifting standards so i was still able to get down to an acceptable powerlifting depth at least yep so let's see um let's talk about dobbs next because he he was the one that was in the worst shape out of everybody he had a bad back like low back he had hurt um about two maybe two and a half at the most months prior to this he was doing deadlifts and just like tweaked it somehow basically had to stop doing any kind of anything for a long time so when it came to this competition i'm pretty certain he said he didn't do any deadlifts leading up to this at all like period even to like warm up or nothing you know just <laughs> like not uh -huh. even light stuff and then he also had to stop doing squats like a couple weeks prior to this because he broke a toe um <laughs> boxing <laughs> believe it or oh, not boy. <laughs> So I think he said he's wearing Converse and he just like, you know, you, you twist a lot on your, your toes uh -huh. and stuff. And like he, it's somehow just gripped wrong or something. And like, yeah, uh, I think he said it was his right foot, his pinky toe. He broke that toe. Oh, and so man. his balance and everything was off because of that. And, you know, obviously it was painful. So like he yeah didn't want to do anything like squats and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So he just. Basically, all you could do was some bench and, yeah, hope for hope yeah. for the best. <laughs> Jeez. So he was in so he you, was in bad he shape. Really had a not yeah. much time to prep. No. So yeah, on top that. of no time to prep, he's also badly, you know, not not yeah. good. Like not not, not like super in, injured, not but like in prime condition. Yeah. <laughs> so we were like, oh man, hopefully you know, yeah, he doesn't get hurt. Um, let's see. Bradley was actually doing good. So he was he was perfect. He was he was prepared. He was ready to go. So you guys at least had one guy that was pristine yeah. <laughs> on your team. I should have been pristine. <laughs> right here, I'm I'm doing a little prayer before we started. Just you know, saying yeah. thanks for everyone getting here safe. Thanks for having family and friends be able to do this together and have fun. Um, praying for you know safety and not getting Stay injured safe. and just you know giving all the glory to jesus christ our savior and that's you know then we started it off you know getting ready um, i wanted to do that before we actually like got into it into it so the rest of the injuries um we'll go let's see jeremy had <laughs> like a week prior to the meat got a sinus infection oh <laughs> so breathing I didn't know about that one was good for him <laughs> not um and then he had hurt his left shoulder i believe he was like helping move something or something like that but he like tweaked his left shoulder um or maybe he was doing um he may have been just doing some workouts at home like some push-ups pull-ups type deal because he was doing that a lot and he may have heard it then but either way it was like weird 
a couple of days before and then it, it was like good on the day so we were like okay well you know hopefully hmm. it's actually good and not gonna right. do something weird but that was what he had um christopher aka wrench his right shoulder was kind of giving him a little bit of problems here and there not much it, that's kind of just like a chronic thing he has with that shoulder mm-hmm. kind of like i used to um, he's been working on it he's getting it better but it, like it wasn't it wasn't nearly as bad as last time last week it was really really yeah, bad and he i suffered, remember he was hurting yeah like horribly like during after before yeah ever ever yeah. Bit of it, he was just like in bad shape this time he was good he was it was fine it, it, yeah. nothing nothing went wacky this time and then he also has a bad right wrist he um hurt that a few years ago um and he was doing like he had heard it before, but then he was doing front squats and it like pulled it or something uh, the wrong way. And it really, really hurt it. And that's when um, he was like, okay, like I can't do front squats. <laughs> I've got to like figure yeah. something else out. And this was a couple years that ago. That could be tricky with the front squats. Like if you don't have that front rack mobility, yeah. like it does put a lot of like, once the bar gets onto the fingertips kind of thing, yep. like that's the wrist is under a lot of pressure there. So uh, he's been dealing with that for years at this point. And then literally just this last like month, he finally went, he had went to a doctor before, but he finally like went to like a specialist or something like that to be like, Hey, okay, mm-hmm. we need to get this fixed or like, you know, surgery or what, what is it? You know? Mm-hmm. So he's actually like taking care of it now. Um, but yeah, he does have like a torn ligament in there. Mm. I'm pretty sure is what he said. At least one. Gotcha. Um, so he has that as like a chronic issue. That's always been there. So that's why he does like suicide grip on bench and like uh-huh. other things. Anything to not aggravate it. Yep. So that's what he had, but nothing like horrible. That was just stuff he's always, he's been used to. Um, and then for me, my left knee had been acting up prior like a week week and a half prior to this um we were doing actually it was probably like two weeks we were doing emom um squats on the safety squat bar mm-hmm. and about three-fourths of the way through like i just i don't know came down wrong or something and it just like tweaked it mm-hmm. and obviously i wanted to finish the set so i just kept going and uh-huh. then from there it just like you know got aggravated so i i was i had to like back off a little bit in terms of weight i was trying to ramp it up but right then i had to i had to back it off again because i had not been doing weight at all just you know doing a lot yeah. of volume and so i started just working on mobility and like getting the knee back to not hurting and then the day of like it was basically like 95 percent good so mm-hmm. we're we're good, and now it's completely healed. So we're we're straight. It was nothing serious, which I didn't think it was. But and then I have written down left elbow. Oh yeah. So we had um, during our prep for this, for actually not even prep for this, but just in general this year, we have been going absolutely ham on the bench, like going to Wrench's house every. It was Thursday. Now it's Friday, and I've been doing like another bench day like incline um heavy like Mm -hmm. you know weighted dips and stuff like that on mondays or tuesdays and so it's been literally two days a week of just like tons of upper body abuse destroy yeah exactly (laughs) destroying our upper body so when we came into this all of us were very prepared for bench (laughs) like the other two the leg stuff we were like oh crap uh, but the bench, we were like, if nothing else, <laughs> we are super yeah. solid on this mother <laughs> right here. Yeah. And so uh, my left elbow, though, had like kind of gotten some tendonitis in it a little bit. So mm-hmm. I was kind of weary of that, but it wasn't anything serious. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where we were. <laughs> yeah. Um, just uh, not great. Not great timing all around. No. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. not only uh, not a lot of time to prepare, but you it was know. just. Not in uh, not in ideal shape, but because of that, around. you know, yeah, because everybody was kind of in that same predicament. Like even Bradley, yeah. even though I said he was good, we didn't. He didn't have enough time, yeah, in terms yeah. of school and work to be able to work out the way he needed to to prepare for this either. So it mm-hmm. was like, it was all fair. It was all fair. Yeah. So I guess Jeremy's going first, but um, Jeremy has the least amount of time of any of us in squats and also just of the three lifts for him himself. Mm -hmm. It's the one that he has the least amount of time 
and like he, least experience yes he uh he just like for some reason every time we get ready to do squats something happens where he's like oh i've got to like stop doing stuff for like two months i'm mm-hmm. going here i'm doing this i'm doing that i don't have time to do it i'm going to aikido i'm doing you know whatever i'm sick yeah. like something happens and then he doesn't have a place to do it he does now but like it wasn't as easily accessible as the others and then anytime we would work out together as a group, like me, him, and Wrench, it was always we were doing bench together or we were doing deadlifts together. And we, me and Wrench would just do our squats by ourselves. That's just kind of how it worked out. Mm-hmm. So he was never around us to do squats. And then when he first started doing powerlifting with us, he was really bad mobility-wise where he couldn't even do a bodyweight squat. And his shoulders also couldn't get back far enough to like even hold the bar in place. So he right. had to work a lot to even get to the point where he could do a squat, let yeah. alone now trying to put weight on it and figure out where his max actually is. He's never like failed on a squat, but he's also like you know mechanically, technically, and all that. He's still not yeah, where he, he needs to be. Like he, he's got to figure out his steps are too high, et cetera, et cetera. You know, he will be he will be a good squatter once it's sorted. Yeah, once he's up, able like, to actually do squats, he'll be great. Yeah, because considering all that, like the weights he's up to already, considering all that stuff, it's pretty impressive. Yes, exactly. So anytime we have these meets, which it's only been the second one, but we basically go into it where we're like, okay, what did you do last time? Okay, and yeah. we'll just put on some weight and we'll, we'll see just what try something heavier than that. Yep, and, <laughs> and that's about all we do. So, yeah. Um, Makes so it hard to say, attempts. when you watch Jeremy here, um, you know, he'll be a little high in his form. You know, he'll forget some stuff. You'll see every every once in a while, like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do that, whatever. That's why. It's just he, he literally has no experience on this lift. I think this is the one where he, like, forgets to fully get under the bar. He's, like, trying to, like, basically pull it out with only one leg. And Wrench is like, Jeremy, Jeremy. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's like, well, he's like, Jerry, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, I forgot right. just to get under it. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Yeah, I think this is the one. He's like trying to take it out in this place. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah he's yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, all right. So this is 275. That one, see, with that, it was pretty that good. one was definitely less, like it was deeper than the others for yes. sure. Some yeah. of them he's high, but. That one was like, it probably still wouldn't get like white lights type deal in a yeah, meat meat. It would but at it least was, get some reds. It, you're at least like close enough to where we're like, yeah, yeah that's a squat. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so that's good. That's and a lot of us are, are going to be high in this competition. Right. So right. We're not. We're and just you aren't casuals. being super strict with <laughs> no, the rules. We're, so. we're casuals here. Like we're not trying to. <laughs> like they're obviously with. Like if it's just like egregiously bad, then we're going to uh-huh. be like, yeah, no. And like after the fact, we tell people like, hey, you know, watch your videos. And if yeah. you don't, if you want to count it or don't want to count it, right. then that's up, that's going to be up to you. If you want to, like, you know, if you think you're selling yourself short or like you didn't get uh-huh. that, whatever, like. Oh, uh, yeah. I was able to still take uh, everything as planned. So I'm pretty easy there. Yeah, how'd, um, how'd that feel? I originally, I originally was thinking about um, opening at 285. Because uh-huh. that's something I was uh, pretty routinely making pretty comfortably, but uh, I just didn't want to take any risks, you know, just get an opener on the board. Yeah. Um, and I knew for sure I wanted 300 second attempt, um, so I knew uh, that was going to be my second attempt pretty much no matter what, so yeah. just uh, wanted to secure no, yeah, at it, first. It moved well. It moved very, like very easy. Shit. Or Jeremy, I guess Jeremy's, Jeremy's second. Jeremy's yeah, we go with Jeremy's second, yep, second. Yeah. Yeah, we had to put the uh, the bar down to like his height, and then uh-huh. basically everybody just worked off of that. It, it, it's like it's still a little bit high for him, 
we, right. would take, it would, we would want it one lower, really, in reality. But. Yeah, that would be super low for everyone else. So you can see that one was a little high, That's but definitely it was, high, but yeah, you know, you got to cut them a little bit, a little bit of slack. Yep. Um, with like like we talked about, just at least you know he knows he knows that has to be worked on. So yes, it's not like he's doing that on purpose. These are just gym lifts. It's nothing. You know, we're not going for world records, and it's got to yeah. be all <laughs> like certified and whatever. You know. So next it should be you, right, with three hundred. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, that would have been even before, right, this, been before yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, let's see your three hundred. So here. this, uh, I knew I at least wanted this, and this one, it's uh, it's pretty easy as well, actually. A little easier than expected. I was just very happy that uh, the calf yeah. injury didn't stop me on that. Exactly. No, was, um, no, but good. yeah, my my PR is only uh, one kilo more than that. Oh, okay. 137 kilos. Wow. Um, um, for me to get that one that easily, I was quite pleased. Yeah, dude. Um, so right. it's funny the Kurt Angle theme started playing. Uh, and he's he was the only one wearing the the uh, what we call it <laughs> powerlifting like leotard oh, like, like a singlet yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we were like that's perfect yeah <laughs> nice so he does like he does like real low bar like actual yeah, yeah. low bar if we if we watch it again you can here. definitely tell he's a powerlifter with this one yeah <laughs> very, very I'm really surprised by the fast descent though yes. That's Very not hip, typically hip a, a power lifter thing. Like you see some weightlifters descending that fast, but that's yeah. pretty rare to see power lifters do that. Surprised. Like Rich asked me, he said, "What are you doing for squats?" Uh -huh. And I was like, at this point, I had no clue because even though I had been doing like squats twice a week, it was all for mobility, volume, and just like technique work, and no actual yeah. like strength training yet in terms of putting on weights so i was like i have no clue like i had an idea yeah. of, of at least some things i had i had gone up to 335 and so i was like mm -hmm. okay well i i know where i kind of am based off of that but you know not really <laughs> and so i had asked him what his attempts were earlier because obviously i'm having to put this stuff into the excel sheet and he told me and i was just like when he asked me I said yeah, I'm just gonna follow you probably dude and probably just do what you do mm -hmm. and so you'll see that we we just kind of do the same numbers and it's like with him and uh, Dobbs both like they they both need to get like a little bit lower for depth but it's not like much like you see what I mean yeah yeah, it's, it's like not just too that egregious. little bit more, and then, but it moved quick. That one moved like apart from that, it's a pretty nice squat. Yeah, oh, yeah. you know, like it's definitely nothing wrong with that. A little, a little slow coming out of the hole. Hmm. But the rest of it, there was like no real, real sticking point, you know. What was your last warm up before taking three oh five? Was okay. mine. Yes, yeah, so then Rich's last warm up. And I'm doing not really a low bar. It's like a mid bar. It's a it's a kind of a hybrid in between the two. Yeah, it's uh, I would consider it a low bar, but it's like it's very high for a low bar, you know. Yeah. And it moved. Yeah, pretty I like quick. it. I really like that uh, that technique. One thing, like what I've been doing, and you can see it whenever I get ready to like brace and stuff, is like I, I tuck my ribs down and like get it all set. And like that's how you would normally just start the low bar, but then I like bring my chest up like really high, like right there. Uh huh. And Is that then, just helping you to keep more upright? Yeah. And so for that mid bar, just like that was the best I found to like keep it over my mid foot the whole mm. time. And I also learned that from Matt Winning in mm. collaboration with Aaron Horshig on the Squat University uh, channel. Yeah. He was teaching how to do low bar, and he was like. You know, you want your chest up high, like, uh -huh. and I was just like, all right, I'll try it. 
you know, see if that helps me with my bar path, because I was always finding that my bar path was, like, over my toes a little bit. A little forward, yeah. Uh-huh. And then that kind of fixed it, so. All right, here we go. Uh, so 310. So how much of a PR attempt is this? This, like how- this would be a 4 kilo PR, so around 8, 9 pounds. Okay. Um, and I went for this because uh, 300 just felt very good, so I was uh, pretty confident that this would be doable. And it was not doable. Like, when did you so, know? Like, how, how did you know that it was not? Very like, you quickly. didn't want to grind? Uh, I just knew. I, I could tell very quickly that uh, it wouldn't be doable. So I didn't try too hard. Because okay. uh, I can just tell. Like, at a certain point, I can tell if I won't be able to grind it. And you can see I didn't make it very far <laughs> before I knew that. Yeah. So it's just like... Uh, That's what I'm saying. Just, it's like it, it didn't feel like you... I just have weak quads. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, uh, I have a strong back and pretty weak, relatively weak quads. So, um, you can't really, with a high bar squat like I'm doing, like, if your quads aren't strong enough, you really can't grind through a squat okay. like you can with low bar. So, uh, I was pretty surprised to make such a, a poor effort at this after how good the 300 was, but. So when you That's do what your it was squat, on the day. like your hips shoot back at, at the from the bottom, is that normal for high bar? Uh, show me what you mean. So like, like out of the hole. Yeah, so it's like here, and then they like they shoot backwards. That's not good. Okay. That's uh that's also because so. of the weak quads. Um, okay. So you're trying to the just knees like would load stay it. further forward. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, that's again like. Uh, the quads are too weak, so the back is trying to. The back Compensate. and the glutes are trying to take more of the load. Um, so yeah, that's not ideal for the high okay. bar. I didn't think so. Uh, I'm not a not a not a very strong squatter on account of my back dominance, or not a strong high bar squatter at least. Okay. But of course, for me, I stick to that because it's most productive for my weightlifting. So. So this is Jeremy's last attempt. <clears throat> this one's pretty high. If I remember correctly, like it's it's like the the highest one in terms of the three that he did. Like the first one was uh, definitely closest to. He went straight to, to this from three hundred five. Yeah, we we did big jumps. It was two seventy five, mm-hmm. three hundred five, three thirty five, and this was for a PR because yeah. his PR before this was I think three twenty. I think it was or three thirty. Okay, <laughs> this one of those two. Know. Like he's never had this weight on his back ever. Like yeah, you like, could definitely tell. Uh, he's <laughs> you know having I mean? a hard time stabilizing that. Yeah, you could tell. The, you could see the wobbliness and like you know he's yeah. just it's not used to it. He's like this is yeah yeah. But you can see it's definitely high. But other than that, it's like it's uh it's if it was deep enough, it's very nice. Otherwise, you know. Yes, like the speed like the coming up is fine. Forward. Just Everything. like I was talking about in mind, the knees are staying forward and uh, it's very fast. The strength is there. It's just the technique that we've got to get down, and like him feeling what that feeling is yeah. like to hit depth. Like, okay, I know I'm low enough, you know. And then he's solid. So, so Bradley's doing a 20 pound jump here. 335. <laughs> no, didn't. Yeah, he he went 315, 335. Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, and you that's can like, see the uh, the hips low bar we were talking right about shooting back there, but that's more typical for low bar because this is a very back dominant yes. type of squat. You know, this yep. is like the end. This is like the opposite of uh, like the kind of squat you and I do. Yep, it's a very posterior chain dominant. Yeah. Like you can see, he, he, a, he gets uh, he gets a very enough. different thing. Like he's he's so far, far like I wouldn't be able to hold that position, you know, because I'm not used to that. <laughs> yep. His torso is so far forward. So he does what's called the stripper squat. Uh huh. Where 
its ass out first, then you kind of do like a good morning for the rest of the way. Right. Which isn't ideal, but he's strong enough to do it that he, he you know, so it works. makes that work. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so different than what I'm used to, but yes. he's clearly very strong at that. Yes. So then Wrench and I do a, a 20 pound jump from 325 to 345 for our second attempt. So he's going first here. And I think me and him are the only ones using knee sleeves. Oh, no, Jeremy's using them too. So our, our team's using knee sleeves. And I don't think Dobbs even has any. Bradley, I'm not sure, but he probably just, you know, is used to just doing raw, like whatever. So. Right. I mean, sleeves qualify for raw, though. They do, yeah. Like, these aren't, like, super heavy wraps or anything. So still good speed. Yeah, nice. Uh, just a little bit nice high. Nice clean second not attempt. Not much. Like... He needs to come down just, you know, a couple, couple of more inches, probably. Yeah, it's, I mean, for for in competition, that's just like barely, barely high. This, this camera angle is a little weird, too, because it's um, from the angle right. it's at, it's, it's up above. And uh -huh. it's not like parallel and, you know, from the side view and stuff. So it's a little bit different. Yeah. But we can still see, like, you know, somewhat. But still, uh, Super solid squat. Yeah. And I believe at this point, um, Wrench's PR is a 355 going into mm -hmm. competition. So that's 10 pounds off right there. And it moved. Right. Pretty nice. So you, you know? just follow the same weight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, you know, let's just make it easy. I don't want y'all to have to like <laughs> wreck something yeah. else. And I don't know what I'm capable of. So let's just do. Oh, this is where we called you. <laughs> We oh, called yeah. you. <laughs> we're, you're about to do yeah, your three. Yeah, I was doing my third then, and I told you I was trying a PR. Yeah, and we're like, oh snap. Yeah. Uh, at the at, on the day, I wasn't upset about missing that because uh, the 300 was what I wanted and expected. Um, but in hindsight, I'm a little upset I missed it because the 300 was so easy. Yeah, for sure. I was like, that was such a big wake up call for me. You're like, man, my quads are so weak. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> the fellas got hype. Dobbs always Let's yelling. Go. Yeah. It's his trademark. All right. So then, yeah, I go the 345 here. And like, I would say uh, even my depth is like, uh, if for, for me, what I would want is probably half an inch to an inch lower as well on a lot of mine. Mm. Um, but it was, I think all of mine were at least even with the knee, if that makes like the hip crease. Right. Your first one knee. was definitely, yeah, definitely a jet. Yeah, I see. I mean, that would probably get white stuff, but yeah, like of course, a little deeper is better. I, I want it to be a little deeper, mm -hmm. so you can see here. Yeah. Just to like guarantee, you know. Just yeah, like, yeah. Like an inch more, we're good. Like <laughs> it's like the hip, or like the hips with the knee, but like you can kind of see a little angle on the quad. Yep. So it's like, I yep. think that's legit, but yeah, more depth, of course. Is, in my book, more depths is always better. Yes. So <laughs> I've I've definitely improved my my depth a lot from what it was. It used to be like yeah, not even close to that. So I'm I'm at least happy with what I have now. Oh yeah, no, it's a nice squat. All right, so 350 here. Oh, my. That was stronger than the, Like, it was clearly harder, but, like, it was kind of, uh, I don't know, it was more convincing. Like, he Bad. actually got more upright at the top. Yeah. Just really blasted out that's, of there. That's just impressive to, to watch. Like, that's... <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's so crazy how much upper back strength and stuff you've got to have for that. Oh. 
So Wrench puts on 360. Um, like I said, his PR is 355 going into uh, this, so he wanted so to just try more. And he, he he gets mad at me <laughs> uh, after the fact because I put 365. Uh -huh. in there. And the reason I put 365 was not to one up him, but because my well, you had done last 20, beat Yeah, we had done 20 jump done 20, 20 jumps, jumps so far so. every time. And the last meet I only did one squat and it was 365. So I wanted to at least uh -huh. match the same as last week. Right. So I was like, okay, I thought we were doing 365, but he had put in 360 just uh -huh. to be safe. <laughs> so no, I, I agree with this move from him because uh, based on his second, he definitely looks good for this, but it's like five more pounds that can make a lot of difference when you're this yep. close to your maximum. Yep. So this one was high. Oh, yeah. Big time. But. But, I mean, he put it he I don't think he would miss it, you know. If he did get down a little further, I don't think that would make him miss it or anything. So It's a strong working <laughs> squat. He gets to that point where, like, um, in low bar, there's definitely a... Uh, you kind of feel like a sticking point in your body, like in your hips, almost. Uh -huh. it's, it's hard to describe it. It's like you get so opened up with the knees out and everything else. Right. And from that point, you can't go any further. And so that's mm -hmm. the point where you have to learn to like drop your butt just like straight downward. Uh -huh. And it's like, he's getting to that point, but then not doing that part where you drop your butt straight downward. So it's like, that's the part he he's got to learn because he gets to there and then you can't go any further. Like mechanically uh, your body's just like, okay, we're at depth. I get you. Yeah. It's like, there's more tightness in that position. Yeah. So you can see he'll open up, open up, open up. And then like, he's as open as he can get. And then, yeah, yeah. I guess it's a big part of why you can do so much more in low bar. Like you're in a very tight position there. Yes. But anyways, the strength is there. The pack is used so much more too. And, and like we said, like we, we give it to the competitors themselves to determine like, right. Hey, do you want to count this or not? Right. Yeah. And then we're not going to say yay or nay the day of, cause we're in the hype of the moment. There's too mm -hmm. much going on. We, we're, nobody's really looking for the depth, like in terms of like eagle eye, you know. Yeah. So, so he can watch this back and determine if he wants that or not, you know, type deal. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the strength, he's there. It's literally oh, yeah, just absolutely. that that portion of putting the the butt down more once you get to I that. I think you made a great point. call on the the 360 though. Like yeah, 365 five more pounds, you never know. Up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my my third attempt is a great example. Like I think for sure I made three oh five that day, but not three ten. So this would be to match my previous opener, <laughs> which is funny. Just yeah, you know. right. Um, well, big difference in where you were at with your squat training. Yes. From then to now. And you can if you watch the two side by side, it's like night and day. The the technique oh, I'm sure this form. one's a much better looking spot. <laughs> it's hilarious actually to watch side by side oh yeah I think you actually got better depth on that one in the yeah, second let's attempt it. let's check it here but yeah strength wise it felt fine it felt good so yeah that's that's pretty close yeah. I'd like to have like it's a side moving. view to see but right it's it might be a little bit high barely it's like, like a little more wouldn't hurt you know but yep. uh that's definitely good once i get more practice with actual weights like this and being mm -hmm. able to get down that low yeah it'll be fine i yeah, actually started like, doing training where i'm just literally at the bottom and staying at the bottom for five yeah, seconds yeah. now and so that'll help a lot with that just yeah and you kind of need like you need to feel heavy weights to really know where yeah. your depth is at because uh like, I don't know about you, but for me, like, even with the way I squat room, just trying to get as deep as I possibly can, like, I definitely do start to cut it a little bit as the weights get heavy. Yes. Like, like yes. Your, your CNS is just being protective, I guess. So we had to move the Jacobs up here for dubs because he's just a tall boy, but he started with 365. Um, his best is, like, 425. So he basically did... He's just not not even taking too many warm-ups before this. Uh, it's kind of crazy. 
So with all the factors he has on a bad low back right now and his yeah. toe and all that, like we can't really judge him on these squats because you know what I mean. But There's that a lot was, going on. That one's that one was beautiful. Good, though. That was beautiful. So he was he was pretty happy that he was able to at least start off strong because he had yeah. no idea what you know if he was going to be able to do anything right. today. But yeah, look at that. That's yeah, beautiful. No, that's definitely good. That is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and he just throws it up like it's easy. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just kind of got that that dog in him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Give him like a good four minute, five minute break, something like that, and then you know, there obviously no people going in between, so he's yeah, just waiting on him so at his own pace whenever he's ready. Yeah, I think it's so really good. Hard now. Like considering, Let's see here, like it's, it's definitely not as as low, and it looks like uh, his right side, like his uh -huh. his right uh, something, upper something happening. Something's caving a little bit. Yeah, but I uh, definitely. Wow. Yeah, you can actually see the right side of the bar comes down quite a bit. Yeah, I think something. Maybe he didn't have it perfectly centered on his back, but uh, powered right through it. Either that yeah, or you're even to Chris there, or you can see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's look at that again. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> What's I call uh -huh. like the Steinberg squad or whatever, where you like have it on the side and you have to like pull it from the ground oh, under yeah. your back. <laughs> like, that's what he was doing. And then four oh five. Now for him to even get four oh five on, everything considered, like it's it's pretty crazy because his PR is uh, 425, right? Yeah. So like to even get up uh, anywhere close to that in his condition, it's pretty impressive. I didn't think he was gonna even do anything over, you know, 400. I thought he was gonna do something like 375 for the day or right. something like that and call it. But when he started at 365, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what song we have playing room right now, but I think it was like a berserk theme or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, even here you can see that right side's a little lower. Wow, and that's a hard oh. squat. Jeez, <laughs> holy, yeah. <laughs> like considering the condition he was in. To just come in and make that it's yeah that's kind of crazy and from depth wise his depth here today is like it's still high there but like in terms of what it used to be from last competition it's like night and day mm. you know it's yeah. it's so much it's, better now it's not terrible and he's got really long femurs actually yes yes he does so, so that's pretty impressive like that shit is crazy. what a grinder yeah too. but it never slowed down <laughs> nope steady just, the whole way through Continuously up, and uh, like a yeah. boss, dude. It's it's funny the the two competitions we've had. There's been a trend of um. There's only been one person to squat over 400 in the meets, and that's been Dobbs. There's only been one person to bench over 300 in any of the meets, and that's me. And then only one person to uh, deadlift over 500, and that's me. So it's like we have all three of the categories as like the top person <laughs> uh -huh. which is great so when it comes to like these um individuals in between the teams it's there's definitely been some rivalries the first one was jeremy and austin we're definitely going at it uh -huh. and and you too as well like you were at you three were basically kind of hitting the yeah. same, same thing it kind of had to happen because uh we all picked the same deadlift attempts basically yes and then at least first and second and we it, all we all wanted the same thing, so that kind of naturally happened. And then it was Wrench versus Coda in the first one. Now Wrench versus Bradley in this one. And this one was like obviously really close between those two. It was the Wilkes score between those two was you know you could tell though they were like I think mm. Bradley even said like hey I was like trying to keep up with you or like you know whatever like I think we each have one person that we've targeted in on like hey uh -huh. as long as I beat my person 
then I'm doing uh-huh. my, my job. And so I'm, I'm I'm always going against Dobbs. Ranch is going against Bradley in this one, and then Jeremy is going against you. <laughs> yeah. We were like, as long as well, we beat our me, man, we're good. It's like, uh, I know that I can't keep up with Jeremy in the, the squat and uh and definitely not in the bench but like for me i feel like my my uh my objective is just to just to poke the bear as far as the deadlift like <laughs> i just i always feel like yes. my de- my my objective is just to just push the deadlift as much as i possibly can to force him to make try to make a really big deadlift yep you know that's exactly right I, dude. I did exactly that in this one <laughs> so you and bradley both start out with 200 yeah uh, yeah and i was actually very very surprised that he started this like because this looks you know this looks like a, a last warm-up if anything and we also had uh, Wrench bring his Thompson Fat Pad bench that's really wide, like competition standard. It's yeah, so I much nicer. It was it's that great. Thing looks very nice. Too. It's super good. It's uh, it's really beneficial for Dobbs too. Mm, yeah. So uh, much more yeah. pack to that fit was, on there. That was yeah. Super it's easy. like he should be doing that for sets of five, you know. Yeah, that was <laughs> super fast. Let's look at that again. This is his five by five weight, I think. And we're not doing like paused reps, like the whole like you know waiting right. for the the press command type deal. As long as it touches your yeah. chest, we're we're good. And you're not doing any crazy bounces or anything, uh, so like no crazy bounce, no hips coming off the bench, you know, like the normal you know stuff, except yeah. just no pausing. Yeah. But yeah, his 200 flew up. That was yeah stupid easy. So I guess we'll go to yours now. Yeah, all of all of my attempts are lighter than anything that happens after that. <laughs> okay, so we'll just we'll just watch uh, yours then. Let's just talk about yours. Well, for me, I, I do not normally train the bench press at all, so I did not bring much to the table here. But a pretty easy opener at 200. Where do you put your is, uh, hands? What's your width? Uh, it's, it's not much different than I use for anything else. So it's like, pretty narrow. it's, though. um, it's pinky. It's not pinky on the ring. It's pinky actually a bit in from the ring, but you're talking weightlifting. So you're talking like Olympic ring compared to power. No, no, no. Ring. I mean the powerlifting ring. This bar actually has both the powerlifting and weightlifting ring. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So yeah, a little slightly narrow. So it's pretty narrow f- compared to what most powerlifters would use. I mean, that moves pretty but good. Not though, quite dude. close grip. Yeah, but this one it was harder than I expected. Was uh, it okay? Compared to other days that I did this way, so I knew I was kind of in trouble right away after this one because it looks easy, but it was definitely hard. It felt harder than it should. And then uh, I had planned on this for second attempt. But it was much harder than it should have been here. Uh, I was That's upset about this because in my last session before this, I took this weight for two singles, and both of those singles were easier than this one. So I was a little upset because I wanted you... to I wanted to be able to make this comfortably and then try 220, but uh, it just w- was not good on this day. <laughs> was there anything? Like technique wise, you messed up on, or do you think it was literally just like seeing this and like fatigue and stuff? I mean, like I say, I don't train bunch, so it's like I I really don't know much about the technique. Like, I I learned like a small bit from you recently, and that's about it. You know. Yep. So yeah, I guess I just just wasn't feeling good this day, unfortunately. Um, so I wanted to take 220, but that definitely wasn't in the cards. So just went for the minimum five pound jump and, uh, I knew even that would be really hard and yeah, yeah. <laughs> no shot didn't at even that. Wanna, didn't even want to try the grind. You're like, nope. <laughs> no, I actually, it wasn't even just that. The like I couldn't, it stopped. Yeah. Oh, okay. I couldn't move that anymore. Yep. Okay. <laughs> but, um, fortunately no problem for me uh with no spotter <laughs> i've done yeah. this enough times that uh <laughs> i'm experienced at getting out of that and uh it's you know it's pretty light so that's not a killer to do that <laughs> how'd this uh how this board setup work for you uh, it's very good yeah we didn't even talk about that 
<laughs> I'm benching on deadlift blocks for the board across it. Yeah. And my squat stands. Is it wide <laughs> enough for you to even fit yeah. on? Yeah, no, it's it was fine. That's pretty great, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that tells you all you need to know right there about how often I bench press. Yes, don't even have a bench, so. <laughs> so. But That's yeah, so in the good. past, I've done 235 when I did train it for a little while. Yeah. So I, if I yeah. trained it, I could probably, if I get a chance to like actually train it for a while for one of these meets, probably do pretty decently. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. So Jeremy's first attempt with 225, and this is this is easy for him. This this weight we do all the time in training, so we mm -hmm. knew he was gonna get the like when it came to me, Wrench, and Jeremy, we knew that we were yeah. gonna hit our openers no matter what. Like yeah, well that's why you pick them. Yep. So that if something's off, you know. Yeah, it's so nice much different too. Like it yeah. looks real good. Yeah, that was actually a proper smooth powerlifting smooth. bench there. Oh yeah, like the, it yeah. flew up. Like there was no yeah, resistance. Yeah. Like, so easy. <laughs> I I always I feel like picking your openers in powerlifting. It's very different than weightlifting. I feel like in powerlifting, like. You kind of need to be conservative with the opener because it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to go heavier exactly because yeah. like you're going for what you want on your second or your third and if you don't make it like that's it like and most of the time if you miss a second attempt you have no shot of making it on your third yep. the majority of the time we're in weightlifting it's very different if you miss it's usually a technical issue, and you have a good chance of making it on the next attempt. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Ranch is going for his first, which is 235. And same with him from last meet to this meet, nine day difference. He increased mm -hmm. his bench by like 20 pounds, and he's not injured, so that helps a lot too. Yeah. And you can you can tell. It's a night and day difference, like looking at that bench compared to mine, you can tell this is like this is someone who knows how to bench press. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If it's you watch very from nice looking. the top camera on the left up there. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it's it just watch that one. That one's really good to Yeah, it's just smooth, like it's nice. Yeah. So Dobbs going for his first one at two forty five, which last meet i think this was like his like last attempt or like second attempt something like that right yeah and didn't even so get huge it. improvements so, here. yeah <laughs> so but yeah this bench is really nice for him it's like the only bench he actually fits yeah. on width wise so he actually gets full like lat engagement <laughs> mm -hmm. and there you go easy peasy so i think bradley goes if i'm looking at this i think he goes full uh width which is the furthest you can go in a meet is index finger on the ring. I think that's what he does. Oh, really? He full, full width, yeah. Is that with the new rules? No, that's just in general. Oh. Huh. Yeah, index finger is the widest you can go, but that, that was easy. I thought there didn't used to be any restriction on it. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe. There probably there probably was at some point, and then they changed it because they saw how many people were getting like right. no range of motion. Because I know they did something <laughs> to prevent the crazy arches. Yes, the there's new a new elbow depth rule thing where it has mm. to like yeah get below the yeah, shoulders. Yeah, because like we stuff. used to see people doing like snatch grip bench presses. So this is to tie Jeremy's PR. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I remember watching points. this. It's an interesting, interesting attempt. So in a meet, that wouldn't have counted because it went down? Right. It like came yeah, back down a bit. little bit. But I don't know really what happened. There's like, a technical error somewhere, I guess. Yeah, something right? happened. Because I remember happened. watching this, and then his third attempt is much easier looking than this. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But he got it. He, yeah. he powered Great through. Fight just, to go through that. Which is insane. I don't know if he just went like 
like too far down on his chest, like in terms of like towards his belly button down, right. and like the bar hit too low, and he had to like come back up, or if it was like a he lost lat engagement on one side, or I don't know, I don't know what that was. Oh, 55? I was going to say, didn't he open 245? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this makes sense. So he powers that up easy. One thing, though, yeah, nice we, will, we will note, because we talked about this, and he talked about it. He was like, I've been, I was going too low um, on my chest, is what he said. Yeah, like, it does look like, pretty low. Yeah. It, what, you can see where it hits here. It's a little bit like... This is where you would want to hit if you were doing like uh, close grip, uh -huh. because with the close grip, the mechanics you've got to have it lower. But he right. needed to be hitting for it to even hit a, uh, an inch or two higher towards his pecs, and so like he was having to muscle it from a very not ideal yeah. spot. So that's harder from the bottom there, like that. Still, just brute strength right through it. But he just does it. it so, <laughs> but he did know. He mentioned that afterwards. He was right. like, "Yeah, I needed to fix that." So now we're going with Wrench's second attempt, which is two sixty. At this point, his PR is a two sixty-five. So this is pretty close. This five right. pounds off. Setting himself up for a nice PR in the third attempt. Yes. <clears throat> Oh man. Oh, yeah. tougher than he wanted, but it's nice and clean, very yes. straight. Yeah. There was like there was no real Yeah, like that now, midpoint. What, what happened was there slow? with the lift off? I don't know. It's like when you let go. Like it's he like he almost was like, "Oh shit." Yeah, <laughs> let me see. I'm not sure. It's something Maybe with his he didn't right side. Maybe you to let go that soon. It's something with his right side, I think, is what mm. he like jostles or something. Uh huh. You see it like that? Yeah, that, yeah. Like like something on that right side. Bit. Yeah. But it didn't bother him any. No. It didn't throw him off at all. I mean, we give each other. Well, at least it didn't look like it every week. Right. So it's so not like he times. didn't know what to expect from yeah. the left off. All right. So I think Bradley's going for his final attempt now, which should be 240. No, this is the second attempt. It's it's oh third. well no third because he did third. what two twenty five second yeah yeah and I didn't get to put in some stuff correctly but mm -hmm. oh yeah wow yeah. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> that was that was nice let's watch that again. So yeah. here, here's here's what made that hard, and this is probably this is something you wouldn't notice as not a non bencher mm -hmm. So what made this hard was the weight in his hands shifted, and you could tell oh. it shifted because you can see the plates rotate forward. Uh huh. So watch, watch as he comes down. Yeah. And then watch, you see how it oh, rotated yeah, forward yeah, yeah. right there? No, I saw the bar rotate forward. Yes, that's what made it hard. Yeah, that's. That's rough. He's having to fight against yes. that. Yes. So what what that means is he didn't have a tight enough grip, and you can uh -huh. definitely see it in his left hand. Watch his left hand as it it comes around. Yeah, I, right actually, I, did, I noticed just now the right hand didn't move as much. Yes. So that left hand tilted forward, and because of that, that's what made that hard. If he would have mm -hmm. not had that tilt and had better yeah. wrist placement, it was it would have been easier. Mm -hmm. But but either was, way, third attempt and he makes it so strong enough to counteract that but yeah you see what i mean like when it comes to bench it's the most technical of these three and mm -hmm. little things like that all over the place that yeah. make or break the lift it's crazy how how amazing like you want oh this this part right here another five pounds this part right here another five pounds like you're missing like yeah. little things here and there and it just destroys the entire lift it's crazy yeah so i decided to go with my first attempt here because I was like, man, I need to like go because I've been resting for so long and not had any attempts at all. Uh huh. Because um, nor like obviously this isn't the next person would have been someone else. At, I think it was Dobbs, yeah, two sixty five. But I was like, hey, can I go ahead and take mine and then we can go back down because I I'm gonna like yeah give you know I'm gonna like tense up and not be warm if I if I don't hit something soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. 
I went ahead and hit my. That's why I was saying opener. before, like I can't imagine the long breaks in a meet between your first and your second and everything. Yeah, but at like, least with meets, they have like implements in the back that you can warm up on and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can go and take another warm up. But... So we had nothing to, but this one, and so it was just yeah, like, oh, man. Like, set up. like how Dobbs had to wait forever for his turn on squats. You know, I didn't want to have to do that with the bench, so I was like, let me go ahead and <laughs> go with my. Yeah, get this in. Easy. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I train with this weight constantly. Yeah. Like I'm doing. Yeah, that's you know, a very sets of fives with that and stuff. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever. All right. So this would be a PR for Jeremy Fever to hit it by five pounds. Tied it on that last attempt. The two fifty. So it went up super yeah. fast compared to his yeah. second attempt. Insanely but, easy. But it didn't touch the test. Yeah. And you can hear wrench here. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching this. But even so, it's like, <laughs> it's such a surprise to see it move so well yeah after it's like whatever happened with the second attempt <laughs> it was like yeah mm. i i did not expect it to move like that and i was like you know from where we were sitting from the other side we can't tell if it hit his chest or not uh -huh. but after watching the video and then you know wrench saying like yeah it didn't hit we were like okay yeah you're right and so and he was right. like yeah actually you're right it didn't hit so. and then you <laughs> Nice 10 pound jumps the whole way for dumps. So I think this is like 10 pounds less than his PR or five pounds, something like that. Hmm. Oh boy. But yeah, you can see, like, <laughs> yeah. He went really low. Which like, way low. Same on this thing. One. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like, look, yeah. And that 10 pounds more. Yeah. It's much harder to fight against that. Like, that is, that's it's really very low. low. <laughs> <laughs> And so coming out of that hole right there yeah. and having to get it back over your shoulders, that's like so yeah. much that you have to Probably move. made it if it was higher. Yeah. All right, so Wrench was going for a 10-pound PR here, which is bench. That's a lot. Yeah. Anything over five on bench is it, yeah. it's a lot no matter Especially what. Especially after like the 260 didn't exactly look easy. Yeah, no. No, it did not. So it's it's kind of surprising to see him not go 270. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but I, I he must have had this in his mind though. He must have really wanted this. I know number. this is a, this is a goal he's been wanting for a yeah. while now. So. Yeah. So he wasn't interested in in a smaller PR. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's oh. just too much. Yeah. <laughs> He, he has his issue has always been off the chest. Um, uh -huh. If he can get it past the the first initial off the chest yeah. through the midpoint section, he he'll get the lift every time. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't get off the chest, he's not getting it. Like that's just that's just where he's mm -hmm. at. And so he was like, "Yeah, no." Yeah, he knew. That's a gutsy attempt. Yes. After the, how, how tough that second looked. Exactly. But he was just happy to hit what he hit on the second attempt yeah. from last meet having been so bad that yeah. this one, he because he was like, that's yeah, yeah, not yeah. what I'm capable of. And he knew <laughs> he wanted yeah. to hit something. It makes sense, though. I, I kind of get why you'd go for that. And I think about it. It's like if he made 270, he would have to wonder, you know, <laughs> yeah. like was, was the 275 there? Yep. At least this way, he knows he didn't leave anything on the table. It's 305. Like, I, I always try to do over 300 not just 300 just so i can be like yeah I at least hit over yeah. 300 <laughs> that's easier to load too anyway 
Well, same, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's whatever. I mean, different. This one, I remember not moving like super well. Like there was some kind of sticking point or something. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's it's very small hiccup. A small one. It yeah. flew though. Yeah. But yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't like hard. I just remember there being like a sticking point that I felt, and I was like, huh, okay, mm. that's kind of weird. Hmm. You give Jeremy a this is Jeremy second shot, yeah, yeah, fourth quote unquote attempt, but you know, yeah, whatever you want to call this, just to just to leave no doubts. Yep. Now, to me, this. What's impressive about this is now he he's taking like a weight that's his PR like a couple times in a row here. Yeah, yeah. he's hit 250, 255, and then 255 again. <laughs> and pretty nicely. Like so, it's like his max is actually moved, higher. Like if we compare this one to the 250. Yeah. Like since there's no issue of it not touching the chest like this is still way easier than the 250 was yep you know so that that just shows right there his, the, his uh, max the small actually technical higher. things that make a difference if the if the fact that he's able to hit basically the same weight three times in a row yeah i mean no it shows like yeah <laughs> you know if he were to go in the gym and and build up for it like could probably get like 265 on the right day Last time I tried to hit 320 as a PR because my PR was 320 right. at the time. My PR is 325 now. And I was like, I'm just going to hit something that I know I can hit, which I knew I could hit 315. So that's yeah. why I went with it. Yeah. Today wasn't Makes a day of PRs for me at all. I was just like, I'm just going to hit things I know I can hit. Yeah. Yeah, this makes sense. I mean, if you wanted to go for more than this, you would have opened heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just nice and comfortable. Yeah. As, like, as a, you know, 10 pounds less than PR, that's how you want it to look. <laughs> I mean, nice yeah. and smooth. Exactly. Do you regret it all, like, not opening more? Like, if you could go back, would you have done, like, 300, 315, 330? Something like I that? I don't know. My jumps, I'm pretty used to these jumps, even for, like, PR attempt type deal. Uh-huh. So I don't know. I mean, like, I might do, like, five pounds difference, but, like, not much different. Mm -hmm. Like, if I, I think if I look in the, the calculator, they're, like, 90, 95%. Like, you know, it's it's yeah. what they're supposed to be, but... Right. Right here, this was 365. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Dobbs gets done and was like, that feels like crap. Uh-huh. You can see him, like... Yeah. And so we, he's like, let me just get 405 and then see yeah. if, we start if talking. I can do anything from there. Start talking to him like, hey, what do you want to do? Like, don't try to push yourself. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And like he goes for 405 here as like a warm up and he was like, I'm not even going to do it. Like, I, you know, uh -huh. and we were just like, listen, dude, if you want to take that 365 as like an attempt, because we have it recorded right. and just go with that. That way we're not yeah, messing with your spine and whatever's. Oh yeah, this. The... Yeah. <laughs> so this is Bradley's first wow. attempt. Yep. <laughs> See what happened was I was just needed. That. I was the funniest. Needed that <laughs> the best part about that, obviously, the song is you know ridiculous and all the dancing that's happening. But we didn't we didn't think Bradley was gonna go yet. We th we thought he was just gonna like we thought like Dobbs and Wrench and all of them were gonna uh, like stop and move out of the way. And then Bradley was just like you know he was waiting on them to do it, like yeah. to get out of the way. And all of a sudden he, he just goes it. and does it. And we're just like, oh, okay. He absolutely <laughs> blasts this way. So <laughs> yeah, you know, that was I the guess best he part. just did, he didn't really need to focus for for this way. So <laughs> apparently, yeah, we were like, okay, we'll wait for them to move. Oh, never mind. He just did it. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh my God! He just went in. <laughs> yes, he, Leroy Jenkins did, dude. Yeah. All right. So Jeremy, he always takes a long time to set up. So right. Try, skip forward a little bit. Nice and comfortable. Yep. That wasn't nothing too. Yeah, it looks comfortable. Yep. Nothing too bad. 
I know my 405 looked comfortable, but didn't feel comfortable, so. Yeah, that's actually good to use now. <laughs> good to specify. Looks comfortable. Yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was uh, as planned. And see, the thing, one thing that makes it um, more difficult for you is you're on a stiff bar. Yeah. And we're on a deadlift bar. It's just bar. the normal training bar. So, but that's what it. I've always deadlift on. But yeah, it looks, looks very easy. didn't feel so easy, but it did feel about how I expected. It's very nice, though. Uh, te like, technically, it's one of the best-looking deadlifts I've done. I typically have a fair bit of upper back rounding, but there's barely any here. Yeah, it's a very, very difficult pretty, pretty time solid. keeping the upper back tight. Yeah, he wants to just at least get this on the board and yep. see what's what from there. Yeah, see, this is where he was like, nah, Oof. this, the, he was like, huh? Yeah. He was feeling it in his back and stuff. He was like, uh, -uh I don't want to. And we're like, okay, like, you know, so we're just kind of talking to him about using the 365 instead right there. Mm -hmm. And then just using this as warm ups. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's hard for him because, like, and he's he capable of so much more, but he's just yeah. not in, in great shape for it right now. He's hit 500, so it's like, you know, yeah. this is like nothing to him. But at the same time, when you're injured, it's completely different. Yeah. And then he was like, no, no, let me hit it. Let me hit it. And yeah. we're just like, okay, man, like, it's your call, you know. So here he, here he goes. Yeah. There's no way he can live with not doing it. Yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, I just gotta rip the thing. Yeah, and he did. So rip off the bandaid. Yep, that's sometimes you just gotta do that. So uh, when it came to our training, um, we had like three weeks, you know, that we did deadlifts together, me, Jeremy, and Ranch, and like, I think the highest we went was like, for me, highest I went was four forty-five, which is what I used as my opener, and mm -hmm. I think the other guys. Uh, maybe went this to like 435 something like that but this isn't Bradley's second is it it is I just oh. didn't have it written down this is his 425 so what is, okay 425 yep this was very comfortable yep I didn't have time to get it because he was ready to go and then but it's his 425 nice and quick also he's doing sumo we didn't talk about that but Right. You know, so all of these lifts don't count. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is like, if someone's going to do sumo, I like to see it like this. You know, it's not super exaggerated. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it doesn't look ridiculous. Yep. Uh, this is a PR attempt for Jeremy. His, his uh, PR going in it was 420, so it's five pound. And the 420 yeah. came from the last meet whenever him and, and Austin I both hit it, and then you did the five pounds yeah, more the, or whatever i did this way yeah. yeah and they were like you mother because <laughs> they were so then, stuck uh, they had both hit that as a new pr and then and then then me, i actually told you guys i was gonna do 430 yep and jeremy was like so instigated a little bit here yep there it is very nice new pr let's watch it again but yeah watch it from the front view this time i watched from the side initially but there we go. Yep. Nice. Very good. So, and, uh, Rich nice lift. opened with 415. I think, yeah, his PR going in was is 440. So, 415 is, you know, it's kind of close. Yeah, it makes to, sense for, yeah. well, it's a pretty heavy opener, but yeah. It's, at the same time, it makes sense if you're, if you're sure you can make that way. Yep. Because you can go straight for, uh, PR on the second attempt after this. Yep, and that was his plan. Yeah. But it definitely moved very slow. Like compared to yeah. his training, his training he was he was way Tougher faster than he would want. Way him faster. Sure. Yeah. So this was when I saw that I was like, oh no. Yeah. But yeah, I, I kind of took a similar approach. Like the 405 is definitely uh, is very doable for an opener, but I took that. <laughs> because I knew I wanted at least this, the 430. So I took that to set myself up for this. 
and you're doing hook grip. No yeah. straps like the rest yeah, of Yeah, no straps, hook grip. And that one was definitely not easy. That was way harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, yeah. like, very, very nice, like, uh, compared to how my other deadlifts have looked in the past. And uh, it's only 10 pounds under my PR, so I was pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And that was my plan for the day. Like, I wanted this because it was five pounds more than the last meet. And um, I didn't really know what I was going to do after that. But I knew I wanted at least that and then go from there. <laughs> right. But uh, it felt good, so I decided to go and match my PR at 200 kilos. 440 pounds. Such a nice number. Which uh, I had no idea I was going to be doing that. Like... <laughs> I thought, uh, you know, 430 might be it, but uh, it was definitely a bit in the tank, so. 200, it's just such a nice, like, number. Yeah. Lots of bumper points. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually every bumper I own right there. Oh. And this was, uh, that's the toughest deadlift I've ever done. Yeah, tell us, tell me about the slippage thing you were talking about with yeah. the tape or whatever. Yeah, you can kind of notice once I I get it locked out, but you'll notice on the left side of the bar I lose a little bit of elevation after it's locked out. See how the plates uh -huh. drop a little? Uh -huh. I have I have thumb tape on for the hook grip there, and the the tape was actually slipping off my thumb there, <laughs> which is crazy. But no doubt about it. Yeah, you were Good like, dang. <laughs> uh, this time, no shoes. But yeah, I so was very, very happy to get that, though. 445. Walk in the park for you. Yeah. I knew, <laughs> I knew that was, you know, I had done it in the training, so I knew I was like, all right, well, I can hit yeah. this for sure, so let's just hit it. And get then, that at least. Yeah. And my, my, in my mind, going in, I was going to do 445, 475, and then 500. Yeah. And... At this point, we were so exhausted from the heat. Uh -huh. I was like, just put the 500 on. I'm not doing the 475. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, screw that, dude. I'm you not going to get away with that in the deadlift. Yeah. Like, compared to how you would do in training. Because oh, yeah, you're trying to build. Grip too. I forgot. Yeah. You're trying to build a total. So it's a little different in competition. Training, you typically take big jumps like you do on this second to third. Does he hook? I think he has a switch grip. Yeah, he's switch grip. Oh, is he switching? Okay. Yeah. It looked like he was doing, like when he was down here, he had yeah, his hands. Yeah. Okay. So, and then. Just set the bar. It. Okay. Very nice. Also, the song no, he uh, used, so, so good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice. He had very convincing deadlifts. Bradley was solid the whole time. I think he's, yeah. he hit every single one of his attempts. Yep. So that was good for him. Yeah, very, very nice and convincing nine for nine day. Yep. All right, so Jeremy going for 450. Yeah. This will be a 25-pound PR. Yeah, this would be huge. It's <laughs> a lot. And he had to do at least 445 to beat me. It's like he. It's actually, it's a shame he didn't make this. I would have loved it if he, he got made it off this. the ground. But there was like so much weird, like side yeah. to side shifting. There was so I'm not sure what on. was happening. Like, it's like, like it was yeah, like going know. left and right and just just yeah. heavy. Probably yeah, broke off the ground a little weird. He's never felt anything like that ever. Yeah, like, never. We've never done like block pulls for overload or anything like that mm. for deadlift for him. So it's like that was. Yeah. As much weight as he's ever felt, you know. Yeah. I mean, the 425 was the most weight he's ever experience. felt. good <laughs> experience. Yeah. Having to tried this, at least. Exactly. So then Ranch wanted to do 450 as well and hit a 10-pound PR. And just like with um, Bench, being off the chest for him, being the hard part, with deadlift yeah. coming off the ground is yeah, the hard yeah. part, breaking the ground. So if he, it's That's like the if he same can get that. for me. Exact same for me in the deadlift. That's why on that third attempt, I just kept fighting. I was like, it's off the ground. That means I'm going to make it. I'm just going to keep pulling. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, you can see yeah. there. 
it's really it's, hard to get off the ground. He he, he broke it. Off yeah, he the did ground. actually get it off, but it was so heavy. It's like, oh, man. yeah, and that's a PR attempt for him, also. Yes, ten pound. So yeah, I was thinking about trying that way. Like my initial thought was, if I could get four thirty, maybe four fifty. But uh, I, I knew that was that was like a, you know, if it's there. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's funny. Definitely, uh, definitely wasn't. <laughs> I forgot you could hear wrench here. I so I always play the same song whenever I'm going yeah, for yeah. like a, a deadlift PR. Um, yeah, and I've never missed to this song. <laughs> right. It's "Take a Look Around" by Limp Biscuit, and you can hear yeah. wrench as soon as I hit play here. <laughs> He's like, "Oh shit! Oh my god!" Like he did. Uh, yeah. Like it was happening. Like <laughs> yeah. He's like, you got it, you you got it, dude. Like, <laughs> so. And this is definitely a big, big jump, 40, 55 pounds. Yeah. But, you know, it's really, like, that's not really an outlandish jump. No, for not the a lift, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. like we were saying, this is something you would kind of typically do if you're just training. Yeah, exactly. So. So, here we go. Yeah, it really flipped too. Yeah. You think it, you were good for more of this thing? Oh, absolutely. For sure. Like, I felt nothing on, on both of my lifts. Like they felt yeah. super easy, so <laughs> Oh right, he actually tried again. He went yeah. we we let him go down by yeah. five pounds, which normally you wouldn't be able to do it in a competition, but we're like, screw that. Yeah. Like that's a stupid rule. Like you should be <laughs> you should be able to put on whatever you want, I feel like. It makes sense in an official competition, but for, for something like this where we're just trying to find our max, it makes sense. Yep. So this would be a five pound PR. Had the Cody Rhodes theme going on. I actually do not remember if he makes this. Well this would be a surprise then. <laughs> saw it before but I don't remember nice let's go <laughs> that's such a great lift because that's for a PR and to beat me yes and the last lift of the day yeah so it was just like a perfect like Whatever, nice we're like, oh, let's go dude and then here's the best part though once Dobbs saw that happen Oh yeah, I he was like, forgot. He was like, no, I'm gonna hit something. Too. Yeah, because <laughs> at this yeah, point, because he thought he was gonna call it. Yeah. with just the opener. Yeah, we were like, all right, he's well, like, oh, I got it. You know, he I had a 405 it. and hadn't done anything since, and he was like, no, I'm gonna hit this yeah. too. And we're like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere got him. Yep. After wrench hitting that, he was like, nah, dude, we gotta yeah. do this. And I love this because it just shows the fight that he has because this way it's way under his PR. This doesn't this way doesn't mean anything to him, but it's like I gotta do something. I gotta do what I can today. Very nice. So good. It's just a great way to finish off the day, man. Yeah. Like me hitting the 500, inspiring Branch to hit his PR, then inspiring Dobbs to hit that. Yeah. It's perfect. I love now, it. Now, you actually, you had a third attempt and just didn't take it. Did Correct. You, you definitely could have made more. Did you just not take that just because you were just spent? You just didn't want to deal with it? It was that. And looking at the scores, I was like, we already won. Donate it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was yeah it was a combo of like why yeah. why push myself like when i'm not ready would have for if it if it was to make the team win yes yeah if it yeah. was like a do or die like oh man i need this because we're yeah. gonna lose if i don't you for sure yeah. you for sure would have made at least 525 <laughs> absolutely and I, then i actually have a video here of me talking about 
the totals and such at the end, mm -hmm. which well, I, I don't know that you've seen this. You got first Hold individuals. Me. Yeah. Tops first. You got for the new Wilkes score, it's 348. And your total pounds is 1105. Yeah. That's good. I got me where I wanted to be. Yeah. My goal was 11. Next, who wants it? 500 okay. kilo total. Jeremy's the first. Over 500 <laughs> kilo. Nope. Oh, Jeremy. All right, Jeremy. You got a 352. Nice. On the new Wilkes. Nice. And your total pounds was 1015. 1015. Nice. That's good. Yep. Nice. nice. He broke the barrier. Right? Yep. All right. Wilkes store, 391. Woo! Right, baby. Total pounds, 1040. Nice. Lots of over 1,000 pound totals. Uh, All right, we got Wilkes store, 388. Total pounds, 1070. I think I'm actually the only one that didn't get a 1,000 pound total. Wilkes score, and 950. 950. He's the only one that didn't get over 1,000. Yeah. So close. <laughs> I would have to train bench more to get a thousand. Uh, yep. My ropes is a four. I definitely could, could get it, but I'd have to actually train for it. And then the totals for the teams. So, Dob, your team was 10. No, hold on. It is. Where's the team's ones? Uh, total pounds is 30.95. Nice. And ours was 32.65. Nice. Rope score for y'all was 10.88. Ours was 11.43. Oh! Yeah. The two time. Nice. The two time. <laughs> two time. Back to back. Back to back. I will say. 2022, 2023. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that was way closer. <laughs> so, yeah, totals were way closer yeah. this time in terms of the teams. And. Yeah, like in spite of the the suboptimal conditions, like uh, it was a good it was a good meet in the sense that everybody got as much as they could have gotten on that day. Yep. You know exactly. Like, it, was, it was good. It was a good day. Not much was left on the table there. Yep. Had a lot of fun. I think uh, was that at the end of the deadlift one. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it was at the end of the deadlift or if it was during the totals one. Yeah. I think, yeah, here we go. We did, we did like, oh, the picture. Yeah, nice. like, <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, 2024, I can be there in person for Yes, it. an in-person one would be <laughs> legit, bro.